He just scored again. The game's been over for 20 minutes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> remarkable for Purdue. Uh, you take a look at it, Jess. I mean, just got going from the word go. Uh, look how deep these shots are. I mean, that's just unguardable. little step back, Steph Curry. He devastated Villanova's defense the entire night. I don't know how you guard that. Well, you, you don't. And Villanova didn't know how to guard it either. Matt Harms there with the jam. He had 18. And then it's Edwards again. 42 points. The second most ever for a Big Ten player in an NCAA tourney game. Edwards with the nifty reverse. And then it's Edwards for three. <laughs> Nine threes, 87-61. Even Matt Painter was impressed. I thought we played the best game of the year. And, um, you know, you want to be playing your best basketball at this time. But I thought our, our defense was really good. Um, it's a little bit easier sometimes um, to play defense and, and be detailed when the ball's going in for you. So we got into such a good rhythm offensively, but we also got a good balance of rhythm threes and getting the ball to the rim um, on some slips and getting some layups. And I thought our guys were really good on both ends of the court. And, you know, just excited about being able to move on. Honestly, I wouldn't say I even knew I had a career night until the game was over. I mean, I'm just just so focused on just trying to get the win, you know, especially when games like this where you value every possession. So I was just out there fighting with my brothers and we was able to get the win. I was able to have some shots fall for me, so. Well, we mentioned second most ever for a Big Ten player in an NCAA tournament game. Only the big dog, Glenn Robinson, did it in 94. He scored 44 for the Boilers. So you're the second most ever for the Big Ten. You don't even get the school record. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that doesn't seem fair. But, I mean, Edwards, just crazy. Nine of 16, nine threes are a school record for any game. I mean, not just an NCAA tournament game. And what's really remarkable, I mean, he had nine of 16 from behind the arc, and we talked a lot about it, guys, and how much he had been slumping, and he talked afterward about, well, I was kind of tired of hearing about it, but 9 of 16, he was 18 of his previous 78 threes. So, I mean, he had been slumping, but, man, he broke out of it in a huge way. And it started right at the beginning of the ball game. He, he stepped into a couple of deep threes. You heard Jess talk about it. They were extremely deep, and it kind of fed the offensive momentum. But what, a, what an outstanding performance by Carson Edwards. Don't forget that he went on the road and had 40 points earlier this year in a losing effort down in Austin. And, you know, even when the game was in hand, he was firing at will. And not only was he getting it done from behind the arc, but I think it also kind of helped instill some confidence confidence in Ryan Klein, who was coming off a 1 of 11 performance from deep. He also got in the act 4 of 8 from behind the arc. So as impressive as the offensive performance was just by Carson Edwards and everyone from behind the arc, I want to also talk about the defense that they put forth. I mean, they held two really good opponents to 26% for Old Dominion and 35% against the defending national champion and have no general Eastern on the floor was critical for their effort tonight. And Matt Harms as well. Yeah. I mean, he disrupts so many things. Has anybody in the country improved more than Matt Harms this year? The way he slipped hard to the basket, able to get easy buckets, the way he blocked shots, he rebounded. But, you know, it's hard not to talk about Carson Edwards. This was a Rick Mount, Pistol Pete, Steph Curry type of historic performance. He lit up Villanova. I thought at one time he was going to outscore their entire team. I was crazy. There was a point where he was outscoring their entire team. <laughs> awesome. and, and you saw the number flash up there. I mean, 26-point win over the defending national champs. It is the second largest margin of defeat ever for a defending champ. In the NCAA tournament, the Boilermakers do move on to the Sweet 16. Third straight year, they've done that. First time they've been to three in a row since 1998 through 2000. They